Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and this morning I wanted to cook a breakfast pizza for me and Cody so I figured I might as well film it, show y'all how I'm going to make this because it is a fathead breakfast pizza so it is keto and low carb friendly and I've actually never created this recipe before, but I've created the crust. So I figured I would show y'all how I am going to make this breakfast pizza. The first thing we are going to do is start preheating our oven to 425 degrees. The first thing we are going to do to start making this pizza is make a fathead dough for the crust. So fathead dough is basically cheese and almond flour that mixed together and melted, it kind of forms a dough-like consistency. So that is what we are going to use as the crust for this breakfast pizza that we are making. I've got all my ingredients sitting back here on the counter and I'm going to get into how we make the dough. I think I am going to make a double batch of this dough so that I can have plenty of pizza and we can have breakfast for the next day or two. So now, the ingredients that you're going to need for this dough. You're going to need some mozzarella cheese, some almond flour, some cream cheese, garlic salt and that is it and then you're additionally going to need a cookie tray and some parchment paper to roll out the dough onto all right the first thing we are going to do is get a microwave safe bowl and since I'm doubling this recipe I am going to use a cup and a half of almond flour so I'm just going to measure out that cup and a half and pour it into my bowl. Next up, we're going to need three cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm going to use my scale to weigh this out because it's easier than using a measuring cup to measure cheese. One fourth cup of a serving is 28 grams. So 28 times 12 is 336 grams. So I just set my bowl on the scale, turn it on, tear it to zero, and just add in 336 grams of my cheese. And that's how I measure a lot of the time is by using weight because not only am I not dirtying up measuring cups, it's a lot more simple to make sure you're getting the accurate amount when you measure in grams. Okay, so, so far we have our massive amounts of mozzarella cheese and then almond flour in the bottom. Next up, I'm going to add in 56 grams of cubed cream cheese. Once again, I'm doing it on my scale. Now that we've got our cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, and almond flour, what we're going to do is Stick this in the microwave for one minute. And then once it comes out, we're gonna stir it all together and then stick it back in the microwave for 30 to 45 seconds or until it's all microwaved together. All right, it's been microwaved for one minute and now we're just going to stir it all together. Now that it's stirred together, I'm gonna stick it back in the microwave for about 45 seconds. All right, just pulled it back out of the microwave and it is looking nice and melted. So now I'm going to quickly stir this all together until it forms almost a dough-like consistency. And I am going to crack two eggs into here. And now I'm going to stir the eggs and dough-like mixture all together. And I have to do this quickly before the cheese starts getting cool and hard. So this is kind of what it looks like right now. It really does look like dough. 
Now that our dough is mostly mixed together, I'm gonna go in with my hands for just a second. Make sure it's all nice and combined homogeneously. And then I'm just going to use my wet hands, throw it out on a piece of parchment paper and just start spreading it with my hands. After working with the dough for, you know, two to three minutes, I was able to get it spread out across this entire cookie sheet. If you wet your hands, it helps the process immensely, but this is what my dough looks like. Next up, I'm just going to use a fork and poke some holes in the dough all around it because it will bubble up as it cooks and poking holes in it with a fork just helps it to keep those bubbles from forming. And the last step in this crust is using some garlic salt and just sprinkling a little bit over the top. And now literally perfect timing because it is 420 that the oven's heated up to and it needs to be at 425. So in just a second, it should be ready for the crust, for the crust to go in. I've got my crust ready to go in the oven. I just set the timer for eight minutes. It needs to be in there about a total of 12 to 14, but at eight minutes, I'm gonna check, make sure there's no big bubbles forming, and if there is, I'll use that same fork to just pop them, and then we'll be ready to top it. So now while that is cooking, we're gonna start getting the eggs ready. At the end of 12 to 14 minutes, the crust should be getting like golden brown, so it'll be mostly cooked. So I've decided to go ahead and like soft cook the eggs I'm gonna stick on the pizza so that I know that it'll have time to finish cooking and then the crust won't get burnt. I am about to crack 10 to 12 eggs into my bowl right here, and we're just going to scramble them all together once they're cracked and then I'm going to throw them over here into my pan and get them cooking. Check out this little creeping guy in the background hoping that he's gonna get some of this. Anyways, I just cracked 12 eggs into this bowl. I'm about to add a little bit of salt in here and now a little bit of pepper. And now I'm just going to use my fork and scramble these eggs up. I've got my eggs totally scrambled right here. I've got some Kerrygold butter that I'm gonna go ahead and throw into the pan to start melting all around. And now I'm just going to take my scrambled eggs and pour them all in here to start cooking. So there's a couple bubbles forming in the crust. It's been eight minutes now. So now I'm just using my fork to make sure that none of these are going to keep inflating. All right, back in the oven she goes. I just took my scrambled eggs off the heat because they are cooked and not runny, but they're still a little bit soft. I didn't wanna cook them all the way so that they can finish cooking when they go in the oven. Crust came out of the oven after 13 minutes and it looks absolutely phenomenal. So now I've got my eggs pretty much cooked. I got some ham that I just chopped up. It's just some uncured black forest ham. I have some Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles because they were out of the normal sausage. So I just grabbed this because it's quick and convenient. And I have some sharp cheddar cheese. And lastly, I just have some peppers and onions. These are frozen, which is why it is on a paper towel to absorb some of the water as it thaws. So now it is time to assemble the pizza. We're gonna do eggs first, and then our meats, and then our veggies, and then our cheese. Next up, I'm going to sprinkle my ham over the top of the eggs. And now my sausage. Mm -hmm. 
And now I'm going to sprinkle my peppers and onions on top. And lastly, my sharp cheddar cheese is going to top it off. All right, guys, breakfast pizza is assembled. I'm about to stick it back into the 425 degree oven for probably six to eight minutes or until everything is nice and melted on top. After eight minutes, I pulled the breakfast pizza out and holy moly, this looks absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to try this. I must say I am so excited to devour this breakfast pizza. It is smelling so good. Me and Cody are about to dig in for breakfast. Because I am extremely impatient, we're gonna go ahead and try a hot slice of this breakfast pizza. Mmm. It is insane how much this crust actually tastes like bread using what almond flour and cheese this is so good he's giving the breakfast pizza a try let's see what he thinks of a keto pizza all right y'all to be completely honest i cannot tell any difference on regular pizza crust in this it's it's really good thanks babe i worked hard Make some breakfast. And I'm not pizza. even just saying that. It, it really is good. <laughs> Isn't it good though? It is. I must say, it's it makes you not miss pizza that much. Thank you guys so so much for watching today's video of how to make a fat head breakfast pizza. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't done so, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If there's any other recipes you want to see me do soon, don't forget to write a comment down below so that I know some videos that I need to make soon. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye! Mwah.